right guys, welcome back. Today, if you have a other partner and looking for the idea of joint accounts, I have this video specially made for you. You know, I actually ran through a survey with 109 people. What do they actually do in terms of finances? Do they actually have a joint account with their spouse or other half? Or do they actually keep separate accounts? And this is the finding. 61% of couples actually have a joint account and the main consideration is whether to contribute equal amounts like 1,000 each or equal percentage like 25% each. So this is a main uh, finding that you can actually take away and share this with your other half because this is actually uh, very important managing your finances moving forward. I have this important finding to share with you. So this is from Policy Genius. And you can see over here, when couples actually merge their finances together, they actually know a little bit better about each other. What do they know? They know salaries a little bit better about each other. Look at the green chart over there. They know what assets do the other person actually have. They know the credit, which is uh, in very, very often credit card. Do, do they have any liabilities in credit card? They also know each other's spending habits a little bit better and they know each other's retirement direction a little bit better. This is very important because retirement is a joint goal. It's not a solo journey. So work that together with your other half. Now, when you also merge finances a bit better, you also realize that as a couple, uh, you are able to handle emergencies a lot better. Why? Because you know each other's insurance a bit better. You know each other's, uh, what do you call that? Savings account balances a little bit better. And when there's requirements for sudden cash, like a sudden medical bill that needs to be paid, or when there is sudden retrenchment, you are a lot better prepared as a couple. And to, to, to add a further tip to today's video, I have actually this suggestion. If you haven't already opened a joint account, look to the DBS multiplier account open a joint alternate account and do it as a couple because when you do the DBS multiplier, the structure of it works that both will be entitled to the high interest account that is being delivered by DBS. Now look at this uh, chart over here. You realize that for the first 25,000, if you have a joint account, it's considered a salary credit for both, not only for one. So again, DBS multiplier account, just one person of credit, both will enjoy the crediting as a criteria. Then next thing is just to have one uh, transaction from a category. And I look through the categories. You're, if you're not familiar, they are mainly investments, they are mainly insurance, and the simplest is actually credit card. So look to a, a credit card and maybe look at POSB every, everyday card with that. Because POSB everyday card is just a simple dividend uh, cashback card. And that can actually be used in SPC, the pump petrol, or even for groceries online. So again, look for this combination. If you are new to this idea of joint account, and again, if this is an idea that you like, share with your other half, share this video with them. Or if your friend has a similar question, share this video with them. And if you're new to, to this channel, I'd like to invite you to smash and subscribe because we'll be launching videos every week to help you become better in your financial journey and join our community. With that, I'll sign off. Take care and goodbye.